Oh boy, we're gonna make a video about you today. Oh, oh whoa, 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 oh my goodness, I don't know about this video anymore. This guy is crazy. This guy is a psychopath. Dude, I am just trying to tame you. Calm down, ain't no need for this. No need for this craziness. Please, have mercy on my soul. What's up, lords and ladies? Welcome back to another video on this channel. So right here, we got Blue. And as you can see, he is not too happy about me making this video. But today, I wanted to give you guys three tips on how to tame a crazy bearded dragon like this one. Now, don't get me wrong, he's super cute, he's super adorable, but I don't want him to be fully grown and doing this because that would definitely hurt. Right now, ow! <laughs> I was gonna say right now his bites don't hurt, but ow! <laughs> oh my God, dude, that hurt. But his bites right now, honestly, are not as bad as an adult. That would have drawn blood if this was an adult bearded dragon. Now, although, I do have my hand in here, so I'm kind of asking for it. Honestly, this is probably one of the only ways to actually get him tame. So tip number one would be to get your bearded dragon used to you. Now, I don't recommend you just putting your hand in there and getting bit and everything. Something I like to do in the early mornings is actually just go in there and just kind of feel around and touch the enclosure, do what I need to do when clean. Yes, he's going to probably chase after me and like, think I am threatening him and everything but at the end of the day I want him to get used to my presence and I'm not gonna do it too too much where it stresses him out and it causes him to go off food or just gets him really ill I think right now he's just really defensive he definitely does not like me <laughs> but he's calmed down a little bit like he went from like attacking me to like just opening his mouth so I would just go in there do some maintenance just kind of show him who's boss at the end of the day so if your bearded dragon is like this don't be afraid to go in there definitely take your precaution and don't get bit because I don't want anyone to get hurt but go in there and kind of show that hey I, I'm the one who runs this and I'm gonna go clean so tip number one is get your bearded dragon used to you by your presence oh my good oh ooh, geez Louise what's gotten into you dude Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I was gonna say like, try to go in there and pick them up, but if your bearded dragon is acting a little bit crazy like that, oh, there we go. Who got you now, boy? Who got you now, huh? I do, that's right. Oh my goodness, dude, you are angry. <laughs> okay, so tip number two is to do your handle training early in the morning now usually early in the morning oh my goodness he is not happy whatsoever he wants to attack you guys oh my god dude okay we get it you're a big macho man <laughs> oh my god. but like i was saying tip number two would be to get your bearded dragon to basically get used to you early in the morning it could be before you giving them crickets giving them veggies and usually bearded dragons around this time are pretty sleepy, so they're a little bit more slower. So had I picked them up in the late afternoon, he would be a completely different bearded dragon and just even more crazier. Right now, he's actually letting me hold him, which before he would actually try, ah, okay, just like that, try to bite. Oh my God, dude, oh my, oh my God, you are a crazy boy. <laughs> are you okay? But, oh my God, if this was like late afternoon, he would be even more crazier and try to just attack me, <laughs> just like how you saw there, but 10 times worse. Now, there's so much that goes into training a bearded dragon, at least taming them down and I'm only giving you my top three but honestly there's probably top 10 or top 20 answers so if you want me to do a part two definitely like this video and let me know in the comment section down below and write the word blue for blue my bearded dragon that way I know you guys made it this far you guys are the real ones I see your comments I'll go ahead and like every single one of yours but another tip which is tip number three is to use food to your advantage so what I like to do in the morning is just oh my god <laughs> dude is to basically oh, oh okay see like he's just crazy is to give him food and then i'll go in there and just give him a pet ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never oh, understand okay he just completely rejected me <laughs> but it's probably because the tongs fell and scared him but i would like to basically um you know earn his trust by giving him food and then petting his head now this might take a little while because you know at the end of the day 
he is technically a crazy boy so i'm not expecting him to basically like oh my god to basically like me touching him but i do want him to get him used to it and you know if he wants food he basically has to let me touch him dude can i please just hold you dude like you're gonna hurt yourself come on oh my god you just bit my plant dude what the hell you broke it wow this guy just took a chunk out of my plant i don't know if i'm more upset <laughs> dude this is just honestly ridiculous look at this he literally just took a chunk out of this Oh man, <laughs> oh my god, you're such a bad boy, dude. Why are you acting up this morning? Honestly, I normally see bearded dragons this size acting up. It's like they're like going through their teenager, you know, rebel kind of phase. They don't like anything, like literally, like look at him. He's just like, oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, dude. Okay, let me, ow, <laughs> oh my god. dude, okay. Come on. Okay. Ah, ooh, ooh. Okay, come on. We got to hold you for the end of the shot, man. I want to at least hold you, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. All right. So, hopefully, you guys learned a thing or two on this, you know, video. I did take him out. You know, it is bath time. So, if you guys want to see what giving a bath looks like to an angry bearded dragon like this like i said smash that thumbs up like button let's get this video to at least 700 likes you guys killed it in the last video let's continue and let's grow this channel that way more people can learn about their bearded dragon and maybe even get one but honestly oh my god blue over here is just crazy so put in the comment section down below the word blue if you guys want to see me post a bath video on an angry bearded dragon because it is a handful and it is a different procedure but hopefully you guys learned a thing or two i am gonna try to pick him up and put him back inside of his enclosure because he is fired up dude there you go see it's not so bad it's not so bad <laughs> oh my god oh my goodness okay okay calm down boy but honestly if you guys learned a thing or two in this video smash that thumbs up like button i'm lord of lion this right here is blue keep the blood pumping and i'll see you guys in my next video okay blue you're gonna say goodbye you're gonna say goodbye boy come on say goodbye <laughs> okay deep down inside oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so he just completely video. fell. But it's hopefully you guys have a good time. See you later. Go. Bye. See you go. later. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification.